So, just how quick and how easy is it really to create a custom application using Stardraw Design Online? Well, let's do it now. When I've signed up to Stardraw Design Online, I'm given a link like this, and it gives me access to an administrative interface through which I can manage the settings, the views, the files, and the products that are used by the custom application. Through this interface, I can also manage the users, their business types, their projects, and the quotes and the orders that they generate, as well as the emails that are sent out by the application. So let's begin. I'll just move that browser window over and open up Windows Explorer, where I've got some files ready to help me set up my application. So we'll begin by naming the application. Let's say I'm a manufacturer of custom connection panels. So I'm going to call my application PanelWiz, and it's a panel designer. I can then upload a logo, just an image file, which will brand the application with my company look and feel. I can then save this, and I have a branded application. Then let's move on to the next step, which is to upload some files. So in this folder, I have some symbols files. These represent the products that will be used by the application. Because it's a panel design application, I have some panels and I have some connectors. Now these images are in SVG format, which is scalable vector graphics. If we open one up, one of the nice things about scalable vector graphics is that regardless of the size that you render them at, they're always sharp and clean and crisp. You can also use image files like PNG, or JPEG, or GIF, or any file that's actually supported my, by modern browsers. We're using SVG uh, as a preference, and these have all been created using Adobe Illustrator. So I can simply select all of these files and drop them into the admin interface, and there are 317 files to be uploaded, and that's happening as we speak. So let's look at the next stage, which is to set up the product information while those files are being uploaded. So I have a spreadsheet here, just in Excel, and this spreadsheet identifies all of my products. We have manufacturer name, model number, and description, and then two key categories called type and key. So the type can be a panel or a connector, and the key is P for a panel, or PM, panel mount, for a connector. This defines how the product is used by this particular custom application. I then have some other categories which are completely customizable and flexible. So we have connector types like Jack, BNC, and Ethercon. We have gender, which can be female or male. We have color. And these categories are used to filter and sort to find the products that I want in the custom application. And you can see that the uh, symbol files have all now been uploaded, so now I can move on to the products page. Just before we do that, let's look at the rest of this spreadsheet, which has some sizing information so that the symbols will render correctly on the panel. We have the link to the particular image file that represents that product, and at the end here we have some pricing so that we can generate quotes and orders. So now let's save this particular file as a text file and close down Excel and then I can just drag the text file into my admin interface this adds 365 products and those will be uploaded at a similarly quick rate and here you can see that the product information is starting to populate with a link to the image that represents each product so we're about halfway through. The whole process so far has taken just a few minutes. And when the final product has been uploaded, we're ready to use our custom application. So now we're running this brand new custom application and experiencing it like an end user would when they run it for the very first time. So we begin by creating a project. So let's call this my test project. And in any project, we can have multiple drawings. Each drawing contains a custom panel. So I'm going to create a new panel called
called facility panel 1001 and let's say that this is a stage left panel. So the first thing I need to do is choose what kind of panel I want and we can filter the panels that are included in the application. So we'll just filter those by wall plate. I could also filter by color or material or size. Let's filter by a color and then I'm going to add a three gang wall plate. There it is. Now I can just add some connectors to this panel. So again, from the large number of connectors that are available, let's filter these by XLR. And then I'm going to choose one D-type Neutric XLR and add that onto the panel. And there it is. So now I can move this connector around, but note the green lines that show the clearance for the connector and the punchable area of the panel. So this makes sure that the connector doesn't go somewhere that it shouldn't. Now I'm going to add some more connectors and let's filter these again this time by speak on and I'll choose a couple of these and add those into the panel as well. Now you can see actually that these two connectors that I've added are overlaid. The quickest way to arrange a collection of panels is to use the alternate layout button. Just click on that and that arranges all of the connectors nicely on the panel and if I keep on clicking it then I get different arrangements of the possible combinations of those connectors. So if I like this arrangement I can now just go ahead and customize for example the engraving on this panel. So let's say that this is speaker 1 the second one can be speaker 2 and the third one could be mic. So now I've designed and laid out my panel, I've set custom engraving, I also have a price on my panel. So this shows me what the panel is going to cost when I order it. I can also go to a components listing for the panel and this shows me all of the components that make up the panel each price gives me the ability to reset the engraving. I can also create a quote and if I go back to my layout I can also download a PDF. When the PDF is downloaded I can click on it to see the kind of quote or order form that might be generated. This includes the product branding, information about the panel, and all of the components that live on that panel. Let's just close that down. To recap then, in the course of this 10 minute movie we've uploaded branding for a custom application, we've uploaded the files that would be used to create custom panels, we've uploaded a product list for the products in my custom application, we've gone in as a user and been able to create a project, a drawing, a custom panel, arrange that custom panel, set custom engraving, get a price and generate a quote, all in the space of about 10 minutes. Thank you for watching.